hi um second youtube video i did not i did not write anything of like what i was going to say for the intro i filmed this sketchbook tour a while ago and i just like never did an intro because i um i just never did i finished my finals today i'm completely done with school now that's literally so crazy the air just turned on man i don't know if you can hear that anyway but my makeup's like messy and i'm just like a kind of a mess right now but it's over and i don't have to do anything else and so i figured i'd film this you know um yeah i um also because i finished the sketchbook a while ago i have another sketchbook tour that'll be coming up right after this one i don't think there's anything else to say oh i'm john montague <laughs> that's my name i don't know why you need to know my last name and also that laugh is really weird um i'm awkward as hell but I guess as I post more videos, I'll get get stuff figured out, and I also do want to, like, post a lot more. I keep looking outside to see if my neighbors are, like, looking at me, like, just talking to myself. But if they are, I mean, I do it anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, um, here's the video now. Alright, so here's my sketchbook. I'm gonna skip the first page, because I was, like, my contact information and stuff. And wow, this is surprising, like, a long time ago. Um, so... Here's a self-portrait I did, um, but I never feel like, felt like finishing it, and then here's, I just, like, was mad and, like, wrote a bunch of stuff on top of itself with, um, oil pastels. And, um, alright. Here's a sketch I did with, like, red pencil, and that's cool, and here's some stuff. Maybe you can see the, like, reflection, um, in pencil. Yeah, that's, like, a cityscape. And there's just the um, Andy Warhol banana, whatever, um, for the Velvet Underground, which I actually have a tattoo of that now, but yeah, at this point I was just drawing it, so there's some stuff, some doodly stuff I did, and um, I was hanging out with a kid, and she drew some, like, you know, kid drawings, so I incorporated that into the design, whatever. Oh yeah, and there's that. And I put this um, paper here so that the like acrylic paint didn't stick together because uh, it does. And I was upset about going to online school and this is like, oh my god. This is the most basic drawing ever. It's just a cactus, but it's fine. Alright, so there's, um, I don't know, random designs. These are like super platform shoes and it's Mac DeMarco, I guess. Here's song lyrics up at the top and a truck drawing. Like, I don't I feel like I should draw more trucks. I don't know. Whenever I don't know what to draw, my go-to is, like, faces. But it used to be, like, like trucks and cars more because, I don't know, they're really cool and, like, recognizable. So, um, here's, like, this is, like, okay, if you do ink on, like, a piece of tracing paper, like, you can transfer it over. So that's something I did, and that's pretty cool. And here's just a pen drawing. And also, I got that tattooed cowboy boot, but it, since it was, like, <laughs> on a weird place, like, it was, like, kind of near the bottom of my foot, it's, like, faded now, so, yeah, but, alright, that's a gouache painting I did, it's, like, a landscape, I guess, and, uh, I don't know if you can see this, yeah, there, but, like, it's pencil, but it's not very visible, and I didn't feel like finishing that sketch. Alright, so, yeah, that's just another... That's gouache, I think. That's another gouache painting. And just some stuff I had from a magazine with some stickers, like, glued in there. And, um, here's some drawings my friend and I did. It's, I don't know, nothing really... Just ra rats and frogs. And here's, like, a pencil sketch portrait. Um, some funny stuff, but these are, like fun like things I did with acrylic paint like cheap acrylic paint to like use it up so yeah and here's more stuff with the uh, acrylic paint but I, I don't know I really like the like free freedom of like using cheap paint because it's I don't know yeah you can feel like you can do like whatever um because the paint is cheap and you don't feel like you're wasting it and here's a gay cowboy quote there you go Oh, that's fun. More funny faces, and I was mad, so. 
yeah, there you go. Um, didn't, okay, this is something I didn't feel the need to cover up though. I was like venting. Um, but I think this is pretty cool with like the blue and orange and stuff. And um, this is when I went to the lake and I did a sketch of it. I don't know if I had moved by the lake yet. But now I can, you know, do a lot more drawings like by the lake because, you know, I live by the lake. Um, <laughs> self-portrait, I don't know. I thought it'd make me feel better about my body or whatever. It didn't. It, not at all, you know, so that's fine. And then I was just drawing things around me because I was, like, bored. It's an avocado plant, I think. And this I did for a Latin project, so I don't really know, but... Um, there's like Hercules or something, I think, and Medusa, obviously. Oh, this is something I got from comics, which I thought was really cool, and there's just like a random like fish, but it has like a human face, kind of. I don't know. I did that in the airport, and I thought it was cool at the time, but... This is fun. Like, I like how bold it is, and I, I think I was- oh, I think I was doing this for Inktober, which... I only did a few days of, because, like, around October, November, I was not doing well. Like, I don't know. It was kind of the worst, worst few months, so I didn't really create much then, and... But that's fine. I'm doing better now, just if you were concerned. Um, and I really like this, like, yellow and blue sort of thing going on here. It's cool. Alright. Oh my god, I love this page so much. Like, okay. Um... Yeah, this is gouache, and I just, there's some Posca pen and stuff, just had a fun time with that, so. Oh my god, I also really love this one, just all the, like, lines and intersecting things are super cool to me. Um, and all the, like, different sort of stuff, but it still, like, goes together, like, it still keeps a theme a bit, so. Alright, some more stuff I, like, covered up, I guess, but this is kind of cool. It's a little bit basic, but, you know, whatever. And this is something I used to have on the cover of my sketchbook, but then it fell off. So I, I, I stopped trying to get it to stick and I just put it inside. So, like I decorated the whole sketchbook with a theme, but now only the back has the theme. So I don't know, it's not as cool. All right, here is some like oil pastel and like paint chips and some more stuff that like fell off the front of the sketchbook, I guess. All right, and um, Ew. Anyway, um, yeah, just doodles, just stuff I did in class, and I guess you can see the eyebrows on that one. Fun, but. Also, some ideas for, like, pots. I made out of clay for plants to go in, and I did that one. I didn't do any of others, but I should get back to that and maybe do those. I wish the sun would, sun would come back out of this nicer. Alright, um, yeah, this is oil pastel, it looked cooler, but I put like, um, varnish something over the top, and it kind of got, it kind of got messed up, like, sticking to the other page and whatever, so, I don't know. And there's just a pencil sketch, it's nothing special, and some doodles, again, nothing special, you know, just practice, I guess, but. This is something I started, and I just really didn't want to finish. I hated the way it was going. I don't know, it's not that bad, like, looking back on it, but... I mean, whatever. But this is cool. It's like the... Well, it's blue and orange, but it looks like green. Okay, um... Yeah, he's... He, like, blind contour drawings, I think these are called. And that's just what I did to, like, fill up some space. Because I painted that green, I painted that red, and then I, like, didn't do anything for, like, a week. And I came back to it. I did this like target thing for some reason and then I had no idea what to do on top of that so that's why I did the blind contour drawings and here's some um like doodles of myself at the time like I don't actually look like that really at all but it's interesting to know because I had that hairstyle at the time I don't know my hair's pretty different now so more stuff with um oil pastel and I was doing this, like, during exams. Oh my god. I was... <laughs> it was so stressful. So I was trying to, like, draw, take my mind off of it, I guess. And this was really nice. I went to the lake once my first semester was over. And I was like, oh, I was so relaxed. Because I had, like, nothing to do. 
and I just painted the lake and it was so nice. It was it was like cold out and there were no leaves on the trees, so there wasn't anything um going on or whatever. Really? Like it's not as interesting as it is now. Like the lake is so much prettier now that it's spring, but it's still cool. And also like a traditional style tattoo thing. This is my favorite page of the whole sketchbook. I did the background in orange um watercolor that I had left over and color pencil and markers on the top and oh it's so cool wow I, I love this page so much like the colors and everything it's gorgeous here's this one <laughs> which I don't know it, it's cool like I don't know I just kind of um what is it stream of thought or something with it just kind of didn't think about it too much and that's fun I hate this. Like, I hate this absolutely, but it's still kind of cool, I guess. And here's some sketches I was doing while I was at my friend's house of um, his fireplace. That was fun. That's nice, or whatever. And um, some stuff from one of those LED light things. I don't have one. Like, I don't have LED lights, but my friend did, so. Um, yeah, and some oil pastel. And just like a marker sketch that I did um, with cross hatching. It'd be cool if I made it more detailed, but I didn't, so. I like this page pretty well. Like, I like the bluey green over here. That's neat, but also the eye is neat. Um... A blind contour drawing that I colored in that was cool <laughs> and um, me there's um, the outfit I was wearing at the time it's just not actually what I look like but apparently then I had just uh, given myself a buzz cut again and dyed it pink which is fun <laughs> now I'm like growing my hair out after having a buzz cut but yeah and this page is also really cool. I love just that there's so much going on with it. Like, that's what I've been trying to do more. So there's, like, construction paper and marker and colored pencils, all sorts of stuff. And it's really fun. All right. Here is someone that's not David Bowie, but I thought they looked like David Bowie. So then I drew David Bowie right here. And still, I think this one looks more like David Bowie than this one. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. But I also really like the colors in, like, this face. I think, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Here's some stuff that's just, like, out of my imagination or whatever. Um, like a character. I like the, like, Chevy t-shirt. I want one of those, but, yeah. Here's just, like, some, like, the, um, Posca stuff. I wasn't really thinking much about it. I was just kind of having a fun time with it that's fun all right here is um the girl from wait, i forgot what her name is but she's from she's, the dude you say his name three times i'm so stupid for not remembering this it starts with a g too doesn't it jesus christ whatever I, okay so there, there's a blank there but you hopefully know who i mean um, I'll maybe think of it by the end of this. There's, um, a bowling alley carpet thing design, um, because we were doing, like, patterns in school, so that was something I did for, like, art class in school. That is just, um, colored pencil, and that's something that was, like, on my wall, so I drew it. And here's a pencil sketch, or no, it's pen, pen sketch on red background of, like, a desert scene. I think that's really cool. I'll turn it this way. Yeah, okay, this is, like, angry art, fun, cool. <laughs> um, cowboy, that's a reoccurring theme, and Dolly, Salvador Dolly. I like the, like, pink and the green and the red together. I think that's nice, or, like, bluey green, whatever. Um... 
then here's this pencil drawing which is surprisingly not that smudged but it's also like of the desert scene and at the end of each of my sketchbooks i don't know i just i don't know why i do this i guess but i started doing it like a while ago and just stuck with it um but at the end of all my sketchbooks i do like mr worm and mr crab like review the sketchbook and talk about like i don't know how it is and then i have like swatch pages back here but yeah there's the back of the sketchbook so you can kind of see what theme i was going with i'm gonna i'm gonna stop the video and try to think of the dude's name because i know i know you probably know who i'm talking about but i need a i need to have it so i can like say that i know who it is yeah bye well i just sat here for like five minutes uh, 20 seconds trying to remember the word outro i was thinking like extra yeah that was not it i need to look at the camera hi um yeah i don't have anything to say except for i have um i guess i talk about some ideas i have for future videos which are like reading like a book on a certain topic and then like making art about it and walking you guys through the like process of making art um if i get any views on this which it doesn't really matter but if i do and you have any questions or suggestions or things you'd like to see since i'm not getting any views that comment um would probably get pretty paid attention to you know um that's it have a good summer or if you're not watching this it's summer. oh have a good day have a great day um yeah nothing else to say that's it